So hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing 20 cent coins. So I was going to do this with the 5 cent coins, uh, but that video turned out to be a bit too long. And this is what we're looking for. So the 66 error, any high grade, 66, 74. 71's the lowest mint, 8.1. 83 to 93, 90 issue for circulation, 95 commemorative, 2001 federation. 2001 rotated, 20 cent coin with the platypus. 210.208 gap and then we got 1988 was supposed to be an issue for circulation never seen one no 2011 commemorative pretty much only in high grade canberra 2013 2016 commemorative uh, these are in high grade if they're pretty circulated just from back 2019 jc 3 million minted so far so Let's get on. Ooh, it's only been a minute. So these come in four dollar lots. So there's 20 coins. And if I can actually open it, these are supposed to be easier, but obviously they're, they're a bit hard. And they're all armor guard rolls. And I wish one day I could find a florin. Silver florin, not one of those. Crappy uh, copper and nickel florins from the UK or New Zealand. So here we go. 99. Also, 2004 large head. Forgot about that one. Uh, the small head's quite common. The large head. Okay, this one is 67. It's really worth keeping. Nah, uh, look at the good. Not really worth keeping. Okay, 2020. So we don't know the mintage, so I always keep them. Uh, but based on the mintages of uh, past 20 cent coins, it's probably going to be high. Okay, this one is going to be the three and a half claw. Yep. Now, how do I know that? Basically, just the way it's been minted. So this, uh, this looks not as thick as where's the other one and you can see the if you look at these coins enough you would know the difference so this looks a bit shallow the coin especially the back of the hair and these sides look a bit rounded uh we're 50 million no, not really worth keeping okay 2001 okay what we're looking for here rotated no 81 so this is not the three and a half claw so three and a half claw if you don't know let me show the differences so I've got four claws here and this one the one closer to the body is halved and a bit circulated 12 no 76 no Another 2012, 210, so this is at the same between there, looking for the dot, no, 69, looks okay, 2002, nope, 2001, so this had 100 million coins, so that's why it showing up quite often 100 million is quite a lot but now they're not i don't think they'll ever mint 100 million coins even with a population increase uh, because electronic payments have taken over baby yesterday here and they're here to stay and this one is probably a fine from a metal detector <laughs> now nah, looks like so it's gone black all your coins will eventually go a dark color probably not like this is a uh, differential uh, corrosion of the coin uh, because in the ground so chemistry is pretty good and it looks like got a few new coins in that one okay 2008 so this one is the gap 
No gap between the platypus and the wave. Oh yeah, that one. It goes at 16. Another 20, 20. 17. Look at that. Scratchy, scratchy. 79, high grade. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2012, whoops. 76, oh, that's pretty good condition. Okay, 2004, small head, need the large head, so the large head is uh, pretty similar in size to that one. 82, 76 million, but you know, not worth keeping. Okay, 2000, the last of the thick engraving. Another 2020, so that's the third one. They seem to be quite common. 210. No. 14. 72. Another 2020. I haven't got any 2021s yet. Hmm. Which is a pity. I have to say the 20 cent coin is one of my favourite coins to get. No. And no, two more rolls. We're at six minutes here. So if there's anything that people would like me to talk about, please leave a comment down below. Some topics I would just won't. You know, some people ask me where I can hide coins in the house. Uh, I decided no, nah, I'm not doing something like that. Uh, because I'm not going to keep coins in my house. They're not valuable ones. See this commemorative coin. About 33 million. Not really worth keeping. Okay. Three and a half claw. Yes. And very high grade as well. So these ones are pretty much not in set. So at high grades, these ones are can get a bit expensive. So that's a keeper. Probably the best coin I've found so far. Another 2006, very circulated. 14. Another 2020, so that's number 4. 2009. 75. Yeah, not bad. Another 2020, 5. 2018. Enough. 2012, 2094, small head. I haven't found a large head in ages. Another 94, uh, 2004, small head. Eighty-two, oh, no, 99. 2019. Uh, so what are we looking for? JC. IRB oh, seems to be common. 76. And that is in too damaged condition. Number 2004. What was this one? That's the I dropped before. Okay, so quite a lot of coins to get rid of now. And... Yeah. What is everyone's favourite denomination? I do like 50 cent coin. Uh, okay, 72, pretty high grade. Okay. Is this a, no, no wave gap. Yeah, this is too damaged to worry about. One thing you need to know is that most coins are just going to be very common for hundreds of years. That's what people don't know. Uh, because, you know, we've got these ones. This is a Bhutanese half rupee bronze. Very common. Pick them up for about five or ten dollars. And that's only a hundred year old coin. Uh, actually, over a hundred year old. And I haven't. Oh, there you go. This is the bubble that we're looking for. 
is in between here. Let's see the bubble. And it's not a well-known error coin. Oh, here you go. First 21 of the series. Is that rotated? No. Oh, I didn't actually turn it around. So you turn it around, the full rotate is never years. Hmm. 2001 is probably my favourite year of mintage. 70. A little bit of doubling, but that's not com uncommon. What you need is uh, for the coin to be totally coming off. Okay, which one did I drop? This one? Or is it another one? Maybe it's 2017. Number 2020. Ooh. 66. This is the error. So here usually has a raise up. I've never found one. Uh, but that's what the error you're looking for in 2007. Uh, that's it. So basically. I need to go through all of these coins and so I've got a few to keep okay I've got 20 got quite a few 20 coins I've got a commemorative so the ones in this pile uh, just ones you sell a lot. Okay, the high grade 79, 67. Now, 68 is what you want because they were never issued in coin sets. So that's pretty good. And, well, don't want that. Okay, so. High grade three and a half. That's probably going to be, I don't know, five or ten dollar coin. Uh, Twenty one, put it there. And the dot. So basically, the three and a half and the two ten dot are the ones to keep. Another twenty twenty. So these are probably going to be the two coins that to keep. Not too sure how much that costs. Need to check eBay for solvies. But pretty much I, I sell these in pretty good grade, less grade than this, uh, for about five dollars. This one's probably more than five dollars. And this one I don't think sells very well, probably a few dollars. Uh, but you know, it's only 20 cents. And see that? That was the sun. That's the sun. Anyway, so that is my noodling and 20 cent coin. Thank you very much for watching. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you, and Goodbye.